maybe we have found something that is a game changer. So this is the Japanese way of these wooden art figures for uh, artists. The body chan, female body. And we also have the body coon. This is actually the male version. You can actually move almost all of the limbs around and post them the way you like. So without any further ado, guys, let's just unpack those and see. Okay, so here's what's inside the box. We have some, yeah, actually how to build this. Instructions. We don't use these, of course. What is this? Oh, some art examples what people did with those. Oh, this looks actually pretty legit. Look at those. Oh, it's a full artwork done with these figures. We're gonna try something similar today. Okay, that's an interesting process. I think that this artist just took a photo and then directly painted over the, the figures. And the final result is pretty damn impressive as well. So I, I can wait to test those out, guys. Okay, so here are both of the figurines. So the body coon is actually the male figure right here. You can see we have some hands here. Some hands are already missing. And we have some stains of plastic on them as well. <laughs> then we have, of course, the body itself. First impression is okay. I mean, the, the arm right here, the lower arm feels a bit flimsy, actually. Ah, okay, we have some more props right here. We have, yeah, I think it's a drawing tablet, um, a phone, a gun, and a laptop. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see the body chan. What does the body chan have? These are huge. This one feels way worse than the male version, just like, it's like really, really flimsy. Oh boy, I hope we can work with, with this, but it, it holds in this position. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but we, we definitely can pose it in a lot of ways. Uh, and this one seems to be also pretty good pose-wise, so this would hold as well. That, so I think these are not just meant for storage, you are actually supposed to put those in here like this but you can already see the problem you know that really flimsy like joints not really even holding this up if there's not a figure in here yet okay okay as long as you have it like in a straight line like here it is actually holding but if you want to move this in a particular way okay like this it holds as well but if you move it downwards you see it's, everything is like really flimsy and that's that's definitely a bit unfortunate. So, but let me see if we can actually change the hands or if those are like actually really flimsy as well. Ugh, those are so hot. I think I destroyed the hand. Okay, yeah. That's the pin that needs to go back in here. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh my God. Guys, you definitely need to be like super um, patient for this, I feel. Ugh. Well. To be honest, I can't see myself like changing, changing those every time, like the hands. Oh my god, come on! Two hours later. Wow, now it's in. I start to feel more and more that these probably are fake, but I don't know. Maybe some of you out there have these things and know that their own version is 100% real. Let me know if this is just a common thing or if this is just because it maybe is the fake product. I want to find out what's the best way of using these, okay? So, as I showed you already in the official... On the official box, it actually says that you should take a photo and then you should trace over this photo with a digital tablet or whatever and then you should paint it. Let's actually try to find like a really cool pose. Now the cool thing is that you can now actually with your phone try to find the right way and like a cool composition. The mood and everything changes completely if you film it from below or if you film it from the side or can draw it from behind and below like this. And then I will see if I will be able to take a cool photo. Okay, so here are two of the pictures I just snapped and um, I think these are really good examples, okay? So the right one would be something that I would actually kind of use on my own illustrations, like the style of the drawing and everything. The left one is crazy foreshortened. I'm not a big fan of this because um, I think it's hard to read and everything, but if you are drawing like 
dynamic action-packed stuff like comics or mangas or whatever this could be like a perfect way to to use these body chants because speeds up the process quite a bit so what i would still do is like turn down the opacity like this and um i still stay pretty loose in the beginning so i would say also i would say if you have your own style already kind of or have like a really specific aesthetic you are going for then i think you should use your own style and always think about what you're drawing so i feel like this foreshortened arm here would be really difficult to come up with on your own also the hand like to be honest it is quick and the only thing i would say like for example now i wouldn't trace it like like so you know always obviously the more anatomy you know the better it is the more you put your own style into it the better it is as well but as a guideline guys i think that works perfectly trace over these always think about what you're actually doing but i think for like drawing these feet for example this would it's like tremendously helpful okay okay now what i would do now i would turn this off and then i would see how it looks so everyone has a personal taste of style especially if you draw stylized i like this hand but i think like the hand is a bit too small and I like having big hands like so same i would do like here comes down to personal taste okay so there's definitely no need to do it like this to be honest guys i think if i would like have done this drawing like freehand 100 percent this would take me a lot longer so definitely a huge time saver and i think it looks actually pretty good so this would be like a perfect foundation for a drawing and an illustration so we're probably going to use this for the final illustration now let's see this one here so this is an uh this is a pose that I think is difficult to draw. It would actually be like really difficult without having like a body coon model right here. So this way it's like super, super easy. Especially when stuff gets kind of foreshortened. You know what is really difficult is to keep the right proportion. So this arm is way smaller than, than the left arm because this is like going back in space. So it seems to be really a lot smaller, you know. So this like literally took me only two minutes or something. So I, I start to really like those. Again, now when you turn off this layer, so the legs still look a bit weird to me, okay? So this would definitely need a bit of work as a foundation. It's not bad. Crazy helpful. Now then you could actually draw in the eyes and everything, the mouth. Just personalize it to your own style. That's awesome. So let me try to turn one of these figures into a full illustration. So I love how the artwork turned out. Now, what do I think about those two? Well, I wish they would be not as flimsy as they are and I wish the, the hands would be a bit easier to pose. But all in all, I think if you struggle with, especially with proportions or really foreshortened poses, or just want to speed up your art, I think these are like perfect. Uh, they can save you so so much time but still if you don't have any idea about figure drawing and stuff like this i think these could 
also lead you into a bad way where you think I just gonna trace over these and then this is gonna be my art. So don't forget to also learn your anatomy guys as a time saver as a little helper. These are actually awesome.